occasion it's also big business this is the largest crowd in London for a league game this season and they've paid record receipts for Stamford Bridge exceeding the 412,000 pounds which Chelsea took at the gate when United played here last December their scorer on that occasion in a 1-1 draw was Eric Cantona. It was his first goal for United, and in 24 league appearances for them, he's been on the losing side only once. Well, today Cantona plays up front with Ryan Giggs, which means there's no place for Mark Hughes, who's suspended from next week's European Cup tie in Hungary. And perhaps with that in mind, Alec Ferguson recalls Brian Robson in midfield. Well, Chelsea are unchanged. This is the side that felt they were unlucky not to win at Tottenham. And they also have a strong European influence. A Russian goalkeeper in Karin and a Danish defender in number 35, Jakob Kielberg. There's also a former Manchester United player in number 15, Mal Donaghy, whose capacity to switch positions with player manager Glenn Hoddle is an important part of Chelsea's tactical plan. Dennis Wise making friends with the referee, who is Peter Folkes from Clacton on Sea in Essex. Well, it was really fixtures like this that gave Match of the Day its name back in the 60s. Foul straight away on Wise, free kick to Chelsea. Trying to become the first side to beat United since March the 9th. And indeed, it's uh, the first time since the 60s that Manchester United have come to Stamford Bridge as champions. So it's all set up today. For a great occasion, Glenn Hoddle, number 20. And there's Cascarino and Sinclair well forward there for Chelsea. Back in by Donaghy to number 26, Dow. Challenge was by Pallister and here's Keane. Uh, Ken Bates, the Chelsea chairman, who's uh, already outlined the plans for the... Uh, redevelopment of the ground now that Chelsea know they're staying here still writes one of the most uh, waspish program columns in the business Irwin Ince it's fallen for Wise Measured play by Hoddle, finds Dow. Cascarino is the target on the far side. Here's Newton. Oh, it's Steve Clark in a good position, and now Wise. And outside him, Dow. And Cascarino, but no. Referee Blue for a foul on Schmeichel. Chelsea fans applauding the move, but there was a shove in there somewhere as uh, Andy Dow gets in a good crossing position here. Well, was there? This Hoddle. This is Dow. Cantona for United. Here's Giggs. Good touch. Sharp trying to come through the middle. And they're sharp again to Giggs. Peacock who found him, this is Wise, and it's too long for Newton, but Chelsea already working themselves into a couple of good positions on the left-hand side. Ince, this is Keane. to Giggs, Ince again, good play, oh it's Giggs from the flick by Robson, and it's 
high straight away for Chelsea. A bit hurried. Here's Clark. Peacock. And he's away from Sharp. Wise. And Sharp again for United. Oh. Now that's uh, a bit hasty. Frank Sinclair knowing all about the dangers of Ryan Giggs. Diving in a bit and gets the first lecture of the afternoon from uh, referee folks. See what happens here. Giggs gets the ball. Oh, that's late, isn't it? That's really late by Sinclair. Why the fans behind the referee are protesting, I can't for the life of me understand. It seems to me a perfectly fair and proper booking. Oh, good play by Glenn Hoddle. Here's Wise. Dow. Kilberg. player is Peacock, can operate either in midfield or up front, here's Hoddle, Robson, Tony Giggs up front at the moment, and he won that one, offside, so Peacock, Pallister, all oh, good running by Keane, and he's got away from Kilberg, Kareen improvising, Cantona with the keeper and his goal! Oh, it's off the bar! Fantastic! Oh. Who needs Pelé? Eric Cantona nearly providing a goal that would have been etched, I would think, in Stamford Bridge history. Manchester United history too. I said the goalkeeper had just improvised. What did Cantona do? And Giggs now tries to latch on to that. This is Newton. To Clark. Hoddle. Clark. Glenn Hoddle pumped the ball forward. Steve Bruce it is who tries to head clear. It's down for the shot. Off the chest of Peter Schmeichel, who won't be pleased, but Peacock will. And so will Chelsea. 17 minutes gone, and really, the ground was still recovering from what had happened at the other end, but Chelsea put that out of their minds quite rightly. Sharp. Reverse ball, Keane coming in, clearance only finds Ince. It was Sharp who crossed here, and uh, as Andy Dow's header goes out towards Ince, the shot pulled across the goal. This is Irwin. There goes Giggs, and he's onside. In fact, the day in Kielberg played him on. The cross is deep. Keane is coming in here with the header, and Kareen has to make the save, and the follow-up goes into the side netting from Sharp. Well, I think Kareen, who kept goal in the week for Russia, must have been surprised that Keane got that. It's a lovely cross from Ryan Giggs, deep and tempting, isn't it? Away from the keeper, Keane wins the header, and Kareen reacted well.
Dow. This is Peacock. Donaghy. Chelsea have got good numbers forward here. That's Wise with the cross. This is Steve Clark. Newton's on that side as well. Hoddle. Again, Clark comes off Gary Pallister. <laughs> Roar of approval from the home supporters. Chelsea have the corner with uh, Newton near post, Peacock on the line. Hilberg is forward. Kilberg! <laughs> Down. Whistle's gone already. Free kick to United. Well, his side not used to being behind. Irwin. Here's Ince. Win again, no. He usually knocks them in better than that with his left foot. Oh, the quality was high. A match rich in incident, and no more so than when Peacock put Chelsea ahead. The only goal of the half. The team orchestrated by the player manager. Manchester United came back strongly, but I suppose the most memorable moment of the half would have to be the effort by Cantona, which came back off the bar. And at the start of the second half, number 19, Neil Shipperley is on for Chelsea in place of Tony Cascarino, who has a hamstring injury. Shipperley, uh, 18 years old, scorer of 47 goals last season for Chelsea's various teams and one for the future, we're told. And, uh, Bobby Charlton has fond memories of Stamford Bridge. He played his last game for Manchester United here. Cantona. Parker. Oh, good play. Oh, now then, he's been booked already, and that could be a sending off for number six, Frank Sinclair. This is when a player who's already had the yellow card puts himself right on a knife edge. Is the referee prepared to give him the benefit of the doubt? He is. Well, that's where it happened. And Giggs takes it. And that's... Uh, <laughs> it wasn't quite as close as it looked, I don't know. Giggs coming in with his left foot, they tried to push the wall a little bit there, and Kareen, well, it was, by Giggs standards, quite a way wide, wasn't it? Knocked on by Shipley for Wise. Oh, that's great skill by the little man. It's a good cross, too. Beautifully done. Robson, Cantona. And they're beginning to move menacingly again. United here, he's got Giggs free on the left wing. Four waiting for a cross. Ince goes to the near post now. Oh, it was Sharp who came in, and now Robson. And now Irwin. And it's come off Kilberg for a corner. They were queuing up to shoot. Pallister up at the back. Goal kick. Bruce. Keen. Yeah. 
Here's Robson. Ince. Cantona starts a run. And that's well played by Brian Robson. He's found Irwin. This is meant for Sharp. Cantona in the middle now! It's a let-off for Chelsea. It's a great ball by Sharp, and it's agony for Cantona. Dimitri Karin is holding his head too, because that bypassed the goalkeeper only by a fraction, and in that sense, Cantona's view of it, well, it is a let-off, isn't it? They would have expected to score there, United. Hoddle. Look where Hoddle is now. Oh. Dow. Schipperle trying to shake them off, but he has. Oh! Well, he had. Peacock was screaming at him. He was squaring and marked. There's been so much attacking play in this game, you really can't quite credit that we've only seen one goal. Peacock. Oh, great ball by Glenn Huddle. Peacock through. Pash Michael. Irwin got there to cover. Just look at this. Pinpoint. The pace on it. Killed slightly by Peacock's first touch, which was good. And then, as he got past Schmeichel, he couldn't force it through the defenders. But Hoddle, the purveyor par excellence. This is key. Inch. Irwin. Antonar was in the thick of that, so was Sinclair. Here's Giggs. Brian Watson in the middle was a bit angry about that. He thought Giggs should have crossed it rather than gone for the curling shot. Here's Wise. Shipley just inside him and well found by Wise. This is Shipley. And still. And Hoddle. And Peacock, surely. It looked from this angle as though it was going to go in. And Chelsea creates another clinical move. Shipley made all the running here, but look where Glenn Hoddle pops up. This is the 35-year-old player manager sliding it out to Peacock. It just cleared the crossbar. Sharp. Keane. There's been some good, stout defending back there. But the attacking is not over yet. Bruce. Again, it's Sinclair's head that gets there first for Chelsea. And a good pass, Chipperley out to Peacock. He's leading the line well, is the 18-year-old Chipperley. This is Donaghy now, with all the experience. Tucking it inside to Wise. Again, Hoddle is forward. Bruce comes across and Shipley pushes him. Now, Glenn Hoddle probably thought that here, Chelsea were going to go 2 0 up. It's his pass, actually, just beautifully laid out to the right. And Peacock, well, I'd say he does the right thing because he tries to chip the goalkeeper but just gets a bit too much air into it. It's Cantona. Now, this is dangerous. Still, Cantona couldn't squeeze Keane through the gap. Ince. Cantona. Robson. Oh, oh Hoddle beats Robson. What about that? And what a fantastic pass by Glenn Hoddle to Peacock. It was so good, they're waiting for the other players to join in. Peacock now. And look at where Hoddle is this time. It's an absolute joy to watch Glenn Hoddle still playing at this level. So, it's time for a Manchester United substitution. Brian Robson, who's given his all as ever, goes off.
to be replaced by Brian McClare. And Chelsea are going to take off Andy Dow and bring on Gareth Hall. What a fabulous advertisement for Premiership football this game has been. There hasn't been a dull moment. Maybe not much consolation to Alec Ferguson, but yet there's still time. Keane's in there. Did well. Offside flag is up against somebody. But uh, play went on, and it's going to be a throw-in on this side. Cantona. Bruce is well forward here. And Hoddle tries to get the ball away, and Giggs goes in, and this is Sharp. And now, to the relief of the, the Chelsea contingent, it's wise, and we go into time that the referee may see fit to add on. And it's like being at a cup semi-final here. Manchester United going right into stoppage time to try and save the game. Keane. Is that the final whistle? It is. Chelsea have become the first team to beat Manchester United in 17 games since they lost on March the 9th at Oldham and Glenn Hoddle on the pitch has masterminded the victory. There were fine performances wherever you looked in both teams but Hoddle's influence and majestic passing is creating a new dawn here for Chelsea. Peacock the scorer. There were many, many other moments to remember. We did perform particularly well in the first half. Very pleased with the way we performed in the first half. Got our noses ahead. Uh, second half, then we, had, yeah, we really had to dig in deep. They did come at us yeah, with numbers. They pushed people forward. And, and again, for different reasons, we dealt with that in the right way. And um, at the end of the day, a very satisfactory uh, day for us. Chelsea, you know, they, they started very brightly. And then they dug in and they, they worked very hard and um, defended well in the second half. But I would still say that, you know, our final ball let us down today. The good thing for us, John, is it's given us and the supporters a massive boost and belief in, in what we're trying to achieve here. It's only one game and we shouldn't get carried away, but it's something now, we've put two good performances together and it's something for us now to really go for. And I'm expecting us to put some good results together and get ourselves up that league where I think we are capable of getting to. Well, there were some terrific individual performances there, not least um, Eric Cantona. Well, he was special that moment, wasn't he, in the first half? I mean, he, he's got that vision and he's got so much belief in his own ability that, you know, he's not worried about actually, you know, the ball when it's coming into him, whether he can control it. Here, Kareen heads it away and he's just in the middle there and he already knows the goalkeeper's out of his position. And I mean, that is a stunning piece of skill. I thought it was going to go in and I was amazed that it bounced so high because at that stage, I didn't realise how high he's had to knock it. As you can see, he swivels, he just knows uh, he's probably going to be <laughs> just as disappointed as uh, everyone was because it was a wonderful piece of skill and the best moment for me so far this season. I mean, you know, that is the sort of flair that we've seen from him, but that was a bit special even from him. Terrific stuff. They always say great players have time, and Glenn Hoddle always had time when he was a younger fella. But in the hurly-burly of the Premier League as yeah. it is now, it's amazing he still seems to have all the time in the world. Well, you know, if, you, if you're not worried about controlling the ball when it's coming to you, you're already thinking, now what am I going to do with it? And that's the difference, with, I, for me, between great players. You know, Today, he kept swapping with Mal Donaghy. Instead of being sweeper, he was often really a midfield player. And, and here he is in this position. And a lot of players these days, I think, would have headed it on or just volleyed it forward. Here he goes. He chests it down, drags it away from Inson Robson, looks about his right foot. No, I think I'll go back on the left and floats it Great out wide. Great to you know, He just made time that most people don't even know is there. Here he is supporting. He waits his pass. Lovely. I mean, the, the people receiving the ball don't have to worry about controlling it because he just knocks it in gently. Here he is in space again, looks up and clips the ball between three Manchester United defenders. And it just run away, runs away from Gavin Peacock and, and Schmeichel gets a tackle in. But he, he was spreading play superbly in attack. And late on in the game, here he is on the edge of his defence. We've seen his control, his short passing. And look at that ball out of defence, what, 60, 70 yards right into the stride of Gavin Peacock. I mean, you know, he had a magnificent match. And, and I must say one thing I did spot today, which I haven't seen often from Glenn, is a 50-50 with Brian Robson. And he's won it. He obviously, he's got his manager geeing him up, I think, with his tackling. <laughs>
There was one element of luck that Chelsea might have had today, a booking. Yeah, I think we've got to make the point. I mean, we've seen one or two sort of players sent off for two bookable offences, and mm. today there were two incidents. Um, and I don't think there's any question on this first one as Lee Sharp knocks it up to Ryan Giggs. Frank Sinclair comes in in the first 10 minutes, probably trying to let you know that uh, he's going to be marking him today. And, and he was very, very late. Look at this one. Ryan Giggs knocks it off. And, well, it's not just late, is it? And, and it was a yellow card for sure. Then, just quarter of an hour into the second half, Paul Parker picks it up. There's no need to dive in here. But again, the ball's been knocked to the side and, and he's well away from the ball. Look, Paul Parker drags it wide, two-footed tackle. And I have to say, the referee, Peter Folks, I feel, would have shown a yellow card, but was conscious he'd been booked in the first half and just gave him a severe warning. But for me, it was two yellow card offences. Thanks very much, Trevor. You had a question mark about the United lineup today, Alan. Yeah, I do. I think in this league, away form is all important. Before today, Manchester United played three away from home. They've won impressively in the three games. Mark Hughes is featured in the three games. Today, didn't play. And I feel that if he had played, United would have earned at least a point. Yeah, but of course you, you can't play in Europe in midweek and they obviously, obviously have, have that in mind. Yeah, but you've got, to, you've got to play your strongest side every game and whether that was the strongest side for me would be open to debate. Okay. Well, there's been...